Meanwhile, we are learning new information about a shooting near the state capitol. It happened this morning, and tonight lawmakers say it's time to get tough on violent crime. ABC 10's Alicia Machado is live at the state capitol, and the blame game now underway, huh, Alicia? Yeah, well, Chris, so far what we know about this shooting is that officers found a person suffering from a non-life-threatening gunshot wound right in front of the state capitol. We're told they were taken to the hospital, but their condition is unknown at this time. Now, first responders were out on the capitol steps early this morning after the shooting. Police believe that shooting happened somewhere on the capitol mall between 3rd and 5th streets. The victim made their way to the 1300 block of 10th Street. That's right in front of the state capitol. They flagged down a CHP officer there. After this shooting and others around the state, a group of Republican senators are calling on Democrats to act on several bills related to crimes committed with guns. This includes a bill that would increase sentences for crimes where ghost guns are used, as well as stricter classifications for what's considered a violent crime. Here's what they had to say after a he after hearing of the shooting near the capitol. But it shows that in California, nowhere is safe from this crime wave, from this gum, gun crime wave. Year after year, Democrats water down sentences for gun criminals. They demonize lawful gun owners while excusing and enabling violence committed by career offenders. Now, the group of Republican assembly members were surrounded by a display of tombstones representing bills that failed to make it past the Public Safety Committee or Assembly. We reached out to Democrats about the group's call for action, and in a statement to ABC 10, Assembly Member Reggie Jones Sawyer, the chair of the Public Safety Committee, said, quote, if and when bills related to public safety reach the committee, members will make a decision based on the facts and merits of that bill. Now, we will continue to follow this story for you. Still a lot of unknowns in this case. No suspects have been announced at this time, and we're still waiting to hear back on the condition of that victim. Chris, Laura. And to be clear, Alicia, the shooting did not happen at the Capitol building, correct? The victim came there for help. Chris, that's right. We've heard from police that the shooting they believe happened somewhere on the Capitol Mall between 3rd and 5th Streets. I do want to tell you that that's about a half mile away from the Capitol, so we're still trying to figure out how exactly they were able to get out here suffering from that gunshot wound, whether they walked or whether they were driven here by a car and then dropped off. Still a lot of unknowns that we're working to figure out. Chris? Our Alicia Machado live for us tonight at the State Capitol. Alicia, thank you.